this video, I'm gonna walk through how you can give full ownership of a website to someone else, basically to another email uh, that is already connected to the site. So I'm gonna show you how that works, what to look out for, all of that. All right, so we're here on this demo website that I have. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to setting. Once you do that, you're gonna wanna go to permissions. And then in here is where all the magic happens. So as you can see here, it says transfer ownership, which is great. The only thing that matters is that because I don't have any other owners or people invited to the site, any other admins on the website, it will not work. They have to accept the invite and then from there you could transfer ownership. So let me show you what that looks like. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to invite contributor and then basically just add in their name and then an email. Once you do that, you select admin and that basically checks everything and then you hit invite. Now I've already done this and so this is what shows up and you could see here there's even an invitation link. What will happen is they will get an email. So say this is your client, they will get an email. The client will accept the invite, create their own account with Squarespace. If they already have an account, they could just log into that. It's really easy. If they have other websites, they could just log into that. There's no problem. Then from there, once they accept the invite, you'll see it go from invite sent to they'll actually be part of the website. All right, so once you log in, this little menu will pop up that says transfer ownership. Now, the way this works is you click here, you'll choose a name. Again, they have to have already accepted an invite to even show up as an option. But once you do that, you select a name and you hit continue. And what will happen is it will transfer ownership. So owner will go from you to someone else. There are not multiple owners. There's only one owner. There could be multiple admins, people who have admin access, but there's only one owner. Two other notes I want to make. Once you do this, especially if you are a designer, you still have access to the site. So you will still have admin access to the website. If you want to remove yourself, you can, but you will still have admin access to the website. So you don't have to be concerned that if you transfer ownership, you get kicked off. And the final note worth making is this is just a tip and trick that I've done for all my client projects. I've built hundreds of websites on Squarespace. When I work with a client, I do not transfer ownership. I may give them admin access, but I do not transfer ownership until final payment is complete. That way it doesn't get tricky. It doesn't get weird. It doesn't get extended. If the client disappears for a few days or a few weeks and then comes back with new edits or revisions, I make sure final payment is complete. Then I transfer ownership to them. At the end of any project, when final payment is done, I will always transfer ownership. I may still have have admin access to the website for the long term for years down the road, depending on what the client wants. But I never transfer ownership until final payment is made. And again, just as a final note to reiterate this, once you do this as a designer potentially, or maybe you're a freelancer building a site for the first time, once you do this, you still have full access to the website and everything you had access to before. The only thing is you are not the owner. So if the owner takes you off of the site, you can't magically get back on it. Oh, and one last thing, when you hit continue and you finish this process, it does not send an email. So you may want to communicate with the client or whoever it is and just say, once you finish this process, you may send them an email, say, now you are the official owner of your website. Hey, thank you for watching this video. If you got value from this video, hit that like button. When you hit that like button, it tells the YouTube algorithm some important information, but it also lets me know that you got value from this video. And if you did get value from this video and you want more content just like this, consider subscribing. We publish new videos every single week. Friday at 1 p.m. we post a new video, if not multiple videos throughout the week. If you have any questions, drop a comment below, but I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.